Everyone's talking Champions League football, a couple of big games in the Premier League over the weekend. Everyone's got one eye on the FIFA World Cup, which is going to be in Qatar. And to get more details about this, uh, we're speaking to Godley, who is the owner of Forever Tourism, about why so many people are finding it more economical to stay in Dubai and then fly to Doha to watch the matches that you've got tickets to. Uh, he joins us uh, again on the line. Uh, Godley, thank you very much for joining us again on Talk 100.3. Thank you so much, Nick. Yeah, it's great to have you on here. Yeah. I'm getting excited about uh, the Football World Cup, but are you seeing that many people are finding, look, it is nearly impossible to get accommodation in Qatar, so therefore it's much easier to find accommodation here in Dubai for the tournament? Yes. You know, like if you look into the city of Doha, as well as uh, if you look into Dubai, you can understand the difference. You know, the inventory, the hotel inventory in uh, Qatar is quite uh, smaller as compared to uh, what we have here in Dubai, uh, especially with the, a lot of new hotels coming in. The hotel rooms and inventory is quite high, and you can get a whole lot of variety of uh, hotels. I mean, depends upon your uh, budget which you have. You can, as you know, you know, you can find uh, uh, all kind of hotels over here. So that's the best thing about Dubai. And uh, it's almost, you know, very easy uh, during the World Cup to travel to uh, Qatar. You know, that's how the that's how they have made it easy. You know, the government as well as the airlines and the Qatar government and Dubai government they have made this uh, travel path also very easy for all of us. Yeah, they have with these match day tickets. Uh, I've got my tickets. I'm flying with Fly Dubai. I saw many ads over the weekend. Even Qatar Airways are doing match match day tickets as well and uh, these are a good option because I think it, it does include the bus uh, from the airport uh, making their way out to uh, to the games but you know looking at the hotel rates uh, around about 300 dirhams if you're looking to stay in du- Bur Dubai and Deira but they will go up to about 1300 dirhams uh, in Dubai uh, do we have any idea of, of the nationality of people that are looking to come and stay in Dubai is there anything consistent about that or is it evenly spread from all over the world uh, it would be evenly spread, you know, like uh, uh, the football is, uh, I mean, I would say it's a global sport, uh, which is uh, uh, played all over the world, especially uh, you, you can have a great uh, following in Americas, uh, Europe, uh, even a lot of Asian countries, even in the Arab world, also a lot of people follow and play. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a, I mean, I would say it's more than a, a sports event. It's a festival for the football fla- football fans. So they are all going to come uh, to witness uh, the wonderful sport which is going to be played, you know. It is going to be in- incredible. Uh, was this expected that there was going to be this base of many other places across the UAE and Saudi and also Oman? Was this part of the long-term thinking or, or, or is this really been a, a quick fix when they realised there just weren't the hotel rooms? Uh, yeah, so uh, hotel rooms, if you look into Qatar, uh, I mean, especially we as a travel agent, we were planning to, we were booking for a lot of groups, uh, especially in the month of May, uh, March, April, May. Uh, during that time itself, we, we could not even find any hotel rooms. So they uh, brought in a lot of cruise, uh, cruise uh, ships and they, uh, you know, they'll uh, uh, put it near the seashores. And there are a lot of rooms available on the cruise also. But more than that, better than that, is to stay in Dubai and travel from here. So uh, you want me to give you an average how much uh, the cost you know, looks like? Please, uh, in please, Dubai? yes. Yeah, yeah. So for uh, for example, you know, like uh, uh, in Dubai, three-star uh, rooms can be available at that point of time, uh, maybe around like as of now, 500 to 1,000 dirhams. Yeah, the three-star, four-star is little bit more expensive around uh, by uh, it can be uh, uh, available around like uh, 1500 and uh, five star also is a little bit higher than that but uh, here in Dubai we can have a lot of variety of rooms uh, as I said you know uh, because of the variety of hotels available and if you look at the flight fare uh, as of now the economic class Qatar Airways it shows around like 1100 return ticket so, uh, provided, you know, if you want to travel, you want to uh, offer all these options, you need to have a higher pass, you know, if you want to travel, because uh, the Qatar is going to close the borders uh, very soon, um, probably by 1st of November. And or if you want to tra- travel to Qatar, you uh, have to have a higher pass, uh, without which you can't uh, offer the shuttle service also for the uh, airline. 
you mentioned about preparations for the World Cup. Um, news just broke out this morning that in 2023 Qatar will host the AFC Asian Cup as well. We saw the inflow of people in 2019 when UAE hosted yes. that tournament across Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Sharjah. Have you guys right. have have you guys put any thought into preparing now for 2023 because I'm sure the similar trend that we saw of visitors wanting to stay in UAE and then commute to Qatar for the games is is there any expectation of that uh of course so see here in uh, dubai if you look at uh, uh, society you know the infrastructure which we have uh, it's kind of infrastructure there wherein we can accommodate a whole lot of people so especially if you had seen uh, the inflow of people millions of people came from all over the world for expo and uh, we were able to cater to all kinds of people we were able to accommodate people and there were a lot of options available so uh, here no matter what kind of sport how much or big it is we are very sure that we can accommodate all those uh, visitors coming into dubai now when you look at uh, your work as for our tourism uh, you're doing um in- incredible work uh, at the moment when it comes to uh, uh, you know both uh, finding popular packages and tickets uh, yeah. are you finding that that most people are coming to the world cup uh, is is it just kind of couples or, or are they big groups big supporter groups that are coming uh both uh, both couples are coming and uh, i have seen a lot of trend like all the bookings that we had was kind of a friends group maybe uh, you know uh, it's like a, a five to this is an average uh, size of group i'm seeing you know five to 20 that's an average groups we are seeing and uh, they are all, i mean there are couples also but mostly it is like uh, boys only group or girls only group that kind of a thing which is like a friends together you know I'm curious I just want to know is there a demand for yachts that are being rented by people is there a trend for that as well here in the UAE Ah uh, yes uh, y- yachts has in uh, to go to Qatar Yes to stay as well as to travel is there a demand in that as well uh there is there is but you know like um, uh again you know uh, if you are opting for a yacht which is very expensive as compared to uh, if you are seeing for a hotel stay and a flight ticket you know so uh, comparing to yachts and uh, if you are planning for a flight ticket uh, people should go for flight ticket Okay, flight ticket is definitely the way to go. If you want to get more details on this, uh, you can check out forevertourism.com. And uh, but to, to Godly, the owner of Forever Tourism, thanks again for joining us on TSB. Thank you so much. Thank no, you so much. Always a pleasure. TSB Talk